Let's for Kim with Wave, everybody. Our last comic of the night. Thank you for staying. Here we go. How you guys doing? All right. Did you guys get to see the, uh, the solar eclipse last week? No. Oh, it's yeah. really neat. Uh, did you guys wear the right underwear? <laughs> for the moon? Well, anyways, um, I was late. I had to do, finish the taxes today. It's a lot of fun. I'm still alive. You know, that's why I was killing each other. I'm still alive. So anyways, um, summer's coming. I used to be almost 300 pounds, but I gained a little weight. I had a little heart trouble, and the meds kind of made me gain some weight. So um, I have what you call like a, um, instead of a birthday suit, I have a birthday skirt. <laughs> so that's a lot of fun. Um, I actually um, have been married for 24 years. Thank you. I think marriage is a gift. I mean, my husband's really nice. He's, he gives me a gift every day. You know, a little laundry over there, a little dishes over there, a little something to clean over there. Gift that keeps on giving. But seriously, the uh, key to a happy marriage definitely is deafness and or earplugs. Um, I have two kids. I got a 19-year-old teenager. He is like living with uh, Houdini and Copperfield. He gets out of everything and he disappears. And then I have an 11-year-old boy and he just like runs our house. So, uh, Lately, I've just been feeling like, you know, I, I, I'm vegan, I want to do a new diet, I'm looking at keto, so I looked it up and it said intermittent fasting is one of the things that you shove your body into ketosis and you can lose a lot of weight. So I looked up on Google what to do, and instead of saying intermittent fasting, it spit out intermittent diarrhea. And I said, oh, well that's how you lose the weight, right? Yeah. So, um... The other day I went to Cardi, it's a furniture store down here, check out some furniture, and I made my way over to the Masal's chairs. They're like, you know, I bought as much as a used car, you know? So I sat in there, and after I was done, the sales store, she came over and said, so how was it? And I said, honestly, I was both assaulted and violated by the chair. And it was the most action I've had all week. <laughs> so, um... I really um, love the season changes, but I get a lot of allergies, so I have to take a lot of allergy medicine and stuff. And I, if you, I'm down the beach all the time because I can breathe down there. You know, there's no trees and stuff. But I woke up the other morning and you couldn't even talk to me. My eyes were all like red and everything. I want to live in another part of the country. And I just can't get there yet. I have to wait till the kids get older. You know? So, um, one of the things that uh, I don't do is drink anymore because, you know, I'm diabetic. And so I just usually just have ice water or like um, some kind of tea with lemon and lime and some kind of sugar substitute. And it all still tastes like dishwater, you know what I mean? <laughs> and that's an odd answer for, hey, how would you like your tea? I'd like mine like dishwater. <laughs> So I'm 55, and um, I was looking in the mirror, and I thought, I thought I look pretty good for 55. And then I realized I didn't have my glasses on. <laughs> One thing you can say about a chick that's 55, she doesn't have her friend coming every month, so she's not as bitchy, right? So you know, a new way to, to talk to a over 55 is, you know, they've been through menopause, so you can just say, hey, it's a new way to say you're hot, literally, right? And then if you know, it's post-menopause, you're beyond hot, literally. So um, as I was writing that last joke, my pen ran out. I picked up another pen, it had a logo on it. It said New Hampshire colonoscopy. And in parentheses, it said, up yours. I was like, oh. <laughs> so that's it for me. Peace, mine is mine, look up to you. Take care. Keep it going for Tim, yeah. everybody. Hey guys, thanks for